Now, phase two of Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb's reopening plan for the Hoosier states in full swing tonight. As of today, gatherings of 25 people are now allowed and retailers can open their doors to 50% capacity. But even though they can open, it doesn't mean they're doing it. That's what Abby Lutz found out. She's in southern Indiana tonight with why some businesses are holding off. What's their reasoning there, Abby? Yeah, Doug, you can see the example right behind me. Pretty empty parking lots here at Green Tree Mall in Clarksville. Even though they technically can open today, they're not doing that until Wednesday. And some other businesses here in southern Indiana are doing the same. It's been two months since the coronavirus pandemic forced Benjamin Byrne to close his boutique in downtown New Albany. Now new guidelines from the governor say he's allowed to open back up. I'm very excited to be open. But even so, you won't find his doors unlocked until Wednesday. We felt that the force was just not enough time for us personally to be able to get in and make the changes and set up the precautions that we needed to keep everyone safe. And across southern Indiana, other businesses are doing the same. Green Tree Mall in Clarksville won't open until Wednesday. None of us had a pandemic standard operating procedure in place. So we are all trying to figure this out as we go along. My advice to everyone is going to be take the cautious approach. Wendy Danchesser with One Southern Indiana says they're working to be a resource for businesses as they reopen. We're going to do uh, webinars with individuals who are either experts in their field or we're going to have open chat sessions. And Clark County Health Officer Eric Yazel has already been a part of the first webinar. The plan is putting a lot of responsibility in the community's hands. Yazel asking retailers now to do their part. We have limited uh, limited manpower, so we all have to work together. You know, we need the businesses to be good, good community partners and, you know, try to help, uh, try to enforce those regulations. Something Byrne says he'll be doing. Obviously, we are available to open at 50% capacity, but we will be limiting it to 10 people. Yazel says... The health department will be out and enforcing those social distancing guidelines. He says we could see more hotspots as people go back out into the community. I'm in Clarksville tonight. Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.